Hey everyone, it's Steve, Network Advisor. Welcome back. If you don't have one of these in your toolkit, it's a USB to serial adapter, and you consider yourself to be a technician or an IT admin, then you need to get one of these, and here's why. All right, so sooner or later, we all get in situations where we gotta manage devices with serial ports. Routers, switches, um, appliances, so many things still have serial ports on them. I know they seem antiquated, but they're out there. And the reality is that a lot of these device, the laptops and computers don't have serial ports native. Now I'm lucky I do have one uh, desktop computer that does have a serial port on it, but that's not enough if I wanna be able to connect to one, two, and three different devices all in the same lab. Now I know some of you gurus out there are probably arguing that, well, you know, you could set up a telnet this and you could sign IP addresses and you could even, there's even a fancy trick you can do on some of these where you, you go in the console port on one side and then you come back out on the aux port. All right, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about being able to have three direct serial connections. So I'm gonna take this new one I just bought. You can get these US dollars, about 10 to 15. Uh, buy them in the usual places where you would look for this kind of thing. And uh, I've got a Sabrent. I've never used this brand before, so I'm gonna get it hooked up so I can add in a uh, third uh, serial connection to my lab. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just take this, it's new out of the box, and I'm gonna find a USB port in the back. So there's USB and there's serial right there. And then what I'm gonna do to connect to my Cisco's is you have one of these, um, these baby blue Cisco cables. So that's gonna go into the, the serial port and then that's gonna go directly into the console port on the uh, Cisco switch that I want to attach to. All right, so let me go get that plugged in. Software should just do a plug and play self-install, but maybe not, we'll see. All right, so according to Windows, it installed okay. Uh, it installed as a prolific. And then it showed COM4. So let me go to where my tools are here and launch PuTTY. And let's put that uh, COM4, which I know that was blank before. So this will be good. Oh, serial. Yeah, serial COM4. Connect. Now there shouldn't be anything going on because the power is turned off. So now let me go and turn the power on. All right, so let me turn the power to that switch on it's this one right here let's turn that on okay we can hear it spinning up so what this should give me then now is something i didn't have before which is a console connection to each one of my three cisco devices and i should i think be able to open up another copy of putty let's see let's see so can i run another one i've never, never tried that so let's go serial com uh, let's see, what are my serial ports here? My serial ports, um, let's see, if I want to go to the 2960, that is on COM1, okay. Oh, yep, there it goes, there's COM4, lighting up. All right, so now can I open up another one at the same time, like COM1? All right, so let's see if we can do that. So go COM1, serial, open. Yes, awesome, okay, great. So. This is really cool. Now let me press my luck. Can I open up my third one, which is my uh, router, which is COM3. So let's go back and launch PuTTY again. Okay. This is pretty cool. Okay, COM3. Oh, yes. All right, so this is great. So now I've got my three lab devices all lined up here. I just have, I wish I, I wonder, can you, can you rename these windows? Cause that would be kind of cool. I could rename that like 2960 and 39, whatever, and Cisco router. So anyway, recap, all I did was install that uh, USB to serial um, converter. And if you don't have one, you really should have one. And they're easy to get and they're fairly affordable. And hope that this video helped you out a little bit. Thanks for watching.